G'day everyone. Um, yesterday we went out and we found some tape to do some tubeless wheels. Never ended up actually uh, doing that. Today I will be attempting it and seeing how it goes. Um, but today to start off with we've got a package with some stuff. Tire levers which uh, park tool, really good. Um, they went missing when my U got stolen. Uh, I've got a chain master link plier, cable cutter, seat for the snot rocket. This is the uh, WTB Vault, my favourite all time seat. And to top it off, we've got a Chromag stem. in a lovely gold oh how good does that look and slap that on the uh, snot rocket as well as we're replacing the handlebars entirely we'll start by taking off the components Now we've taken all those pieces off, we'll work on removing the stem. So for this, Use my crown race remover tool. Using the uh, crown race removal tool, it's actually quite easy to take off the crown race. We'll put on the new crown race. A nice crown race tool from Park Tools. Let me check to make sure it's installed correctly, which it is. So a good application of grease around the inside where the bearing goes. That was not meant to happen. And make sure the bearing goes in the correct way. Otherwise it's not going to work very well. Doesn't need a great deal of grease. Of course that happened. So I've got this sneaking suspicion that the wheels are still set up with tubes. So I'm going to um, let the air out of them and check to see if they're still set up with tubes and then set them up with tubeless if they're not. So my favourite tyre levers are these Park Tool uh, steel cores. Uh, I love them mainly because, well, there's very little chance of bending or breaking them. So 
just put some sealant in there. Like so. Sealant in there. Let's try and pump it up. Taking the uh, core out of the valve. It was 15.85 kilograms before I converted it to, to tubeless. So let's turn that on. Yep, okay. Let's hang it. Fifteen point eight one. Hmm. Surprising. You get that. <laughs> 